uh, Matt here from the Shorty Switch channel and bringing you my first uh, do-it-yourself project. Um, this is something that I've been kind of working on or I did work on over the winter. I just haven't uh, ever got around to making a video for it. What I did is I built a lyric prompter. Um, I know that you can mount an iPad to a, a mic stand and you can get away with it that way. Um, I didn't want to do the iPad on the mic stand because I'm already, I am already have an iPad on the mic stand and that's running my audio and I'm going to use that as a backup if this ever fails but um, I wanted to be wanted this to be somewhat inconspicuous um, there are some products that are out there there are pretty much everything out there though is custom built um, this looks like uh, a floor wedge a traditional uh, monitor it's um, maybe a little bit taller um, and maybe a little bit different orientation than what you're used to, but um, let's take a look at it. Uh, this the monitor is built out of a it's half inch ply, and it houses a computer and a screen as well as a foot switch. Uh, I do all of my uh, lyric setup in PowerPoint 2010, and then I just change through songs. So we're going to take a look at what the box looks like. All right, check it out. This is uh, the monitor. It looks kind of like a traditional uh, stage wedge. Dayton Audio uh, touring handles. They're just hard plastic. And then we have Pen Alcom uh, 5x7 uh, perforated dishes. Uh, we, I'm using this to help vent the um, help vent the computer that's inside. I have this exact same setup on each side of the box. Now on the rear of the box I have a removable panel here. It's got just some Velcro that kind of holds that in place and then a cutout for any of the cords to come out. I've got a power cord that runs everything and then a cable that runs for the foot switch. So if I just pop this off and see what's on the inside here. I've got a uh, Dell Optiplex uh, 270 just a small form factor. I picked this up off of eBay for about 50 bucks, uh, refurbished. Uh, but it does the job. It, 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 uh, all I need to do is have it open and be able to run PowerPoint. It's um, on Windows XP. I think it's got a 512 megs of RAM and a 20 gig hard drive. I don't use any real hard drive space on the computer itself. I keep all of my lyrics here on a flash drive. I hook those onto my keys and I take that around with me. Um, I actually build the set lists and, and do the lyrics on a different computer and then just bring the, the flash drive with me. That way I don't have to do anything here um, locally. All the power is in the back and again we've got uh, venting on each side and the vents line up perfectly. These vent, uh, it's actually vents from this side to this side so it blows air through and out. It's still a little warm in here, but it's a lot better than if it was sealed up completely. So on the front, I built a uh, built a cover for it, so when I'm transporting it, um, I don't have to worry about the screen being damaged. And this again is just kind of velcroed in there. That pulls off, brings me right to my lyric screen. All right, I've got a I've got a 22 inch LED monitor um, fixed in the uh, portrait position and uh, it seems to work really good. I, I went with the LED uh, so if I was outside the the brightness, the contrast is good, I can still read it. I'm doing black uh, black background with white text. So you can see it's pretty legible. Um, I usually view this from about uh, say six, seven, eight feet away. Um, even with the light on the screen, it, it's super easy to see. Okay. So I've got my micro USB keyboard. I picked this up on Amazon for uh, somewhere around $30. Amazon or Newegg. Uh, it's uh, off-brand, doesn't have a, have a real brand name. It's just a... Okay, so... You can see I've got my little cursor here. If I wanted to go to that song, I can simply click on it, and that's going to take me right to my lyrics. I also have a back and forth button to take me from the next page and the previous page, as well as a home button that would then take me back 
to my, uh, it would take me back to that menu screen. Now, I only use this to get me started, okay? This is a menu in case I ever need to go back to the menu and, uh, you know, maybe find a song that we haven't done in a long time. I needed a little refresher, but everything else runs right from this little USB keyboard. This USB foot switch, rather. Um, I picked this up on Newegg for like 25 bucks. And it's just a three button, or three foot switch USB, and they can program them to do whatever you want it to. Um, this one goes to the previous page, this one takes me to the next page, this one takes me, um, this one will actually launch, uh, this is set up for F5, so it actually launched the presentation. So, the plan is, as I step through the night, my, uh, my sets will be built uh, in song order, and then all I have to do is step to the next song, it'll take me to the words for that song, and so forth. And if I need to go backwards, I can go backwards. So that's my little foot switch. So this is the monitor. The outside is done in um, Duratex. It's uh, made out of a company out of Florida and pretty cool stuff. I mean, it's an acrylic coating. It, it dries really hard. It's really it's made for speaker cabinet uh, covers. And um, a lot of cabinet coating companies, they sh you have to buy a gallon or you have to buy five gallons. And even at that, I think a gallon runs about 55 bucks of this stuff. And I really didn't need that much. And they actually have a sample kit. It comes in a pint. And uh, it comes with a roller. And it was like 20 bucks. And uh, covered this project. I actually still have some left in case I ever need to do some touch-up on it. Uh, but really awesome stuff. It's super hard. It's got a really nice coating. It looks really professional. Um, if you Google speaker coatings it'll be your it'll be the first hit so that's the monitor uh, in a nutshell if you have any questions about it or uh, you want to see some more pictures or some details I have no plans I, I really just kind of uh, did it on my own I took a quick measurement of the screen once I had that and uh, really from there it was all freehand and and just trying to make sure that the sides matched and the tops were the same size but uh, as far as tools that were used for this project, I used a, a small hand circular saw, um, a small table saw uh, to cut down those uh, 4x8 sheets into a little bit easier uh, pieces to work with, and um, I used a, a Dremel Trio to do all the, uh, the little routing of the edges and, and to cut out some of the main things. Um, no jigsaw was used on it. Um, other than that, uh, small air nailer that I picked up from uh, Home Depot for about 20 bucks online. Um, it's it's a it's a small cheap tool, but all I needed it for was to to nail this together, and it actually worked worked really great. Um, I have a small air compressor, and I just needed a small like a, a brad nailer. So I used a I used a, just a small small nailer, uh, the Dremel tool which I already had, and uh, a screwdriver to, to, to screw in all the, the screws. I picked up the screws from an Ace Hardware. I think I spent about six bucks in those just to get those the nice cap screws. And uh, that's about it. So yeah, uh, if you have any questions, leave me a comment on the video. Uh, if you've got a similar project, you know, leave me a video response. I'd really like to see what people are coming up with um, other than just mount an iPad to the stand because uh, I like the iPad I like the iPad mount and and frankly when I built this I didn't have my iPad yet uh, but I probably will load some some lyrics just in the event that I ever have a problem with this that I could I'll have those as a backup as well on the iPad but my my main goal is to have one iPad on my stand and that to use strictly for uh, audio so yeah, so that's it, my first do-it-yourself uh, do project. Uh, I hope you like it, and uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.